Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> What's up? What I'm gonna do is I am going to make a video on all of the fascinating, fascinating information that I, along with my fellow volunteers, have learned this past week at Garina Rel. Now, Garina Rel is an unbelievable community of about 70 people in the Negev, down south. These people are warriors, stand up for what they believe, they're tough-minded, they are very, very, very intuitive, very loving, they follow their heart. When you follow your heart, as opposed to following your stomach or your logic, you're much more free in your actions. So, what we learned today is, started with a, a sentence. The sentence goes as follow. Work is a bound by a river of godly light. One should do their best with the best quality. Now, let's first start with what is work. What is work? Now, there's an ideology out there of people people believe that life life is is about pleasure. And when you have bumps, they suck. They really stink. I'm trying to get somewhere and now there's there's a traffic jam. This is horrible. Why? Because the mind is focused on the end result. The mind is focused on pleasure. So if you're focused on pleasure and you're focused on comfort, then bumps are annoying, are painful, are dreadful, are terrible. But if your focus on life isn't on pleasure, your focus is on living, is on experiencing life, is on growing. So bumps are not just part of that growth, bumps are life. They hurt, they're painful, they're a struggle, but they're part of life. Just as a small example, we're in the middle of we're in the middle of putting electricity wires through these tubes. Now, the way to get it through is the first thing you need to do is you need to take a tiny little string, you need to tie it to a plastic bag, put it on the end in the end of the tube. Take a vacuum cleaner, suction it from the other end until the whole string unravels to the other end. Then you tie the end of that string to a thicker string, which is going to be more capable of pulling a heavy electri elect electrical cable through this little pipe. And then we have to pull that through the whole thing. We untie the small string, take it off, tie it to electricity wire, and then we need to slowly push the whole wire through. So we're on the other end, and we come up with this idea of why don't we tie the end of the string to pull the cable onto this little car to pull it through, and we start pulling it through, and then it rips. And we had to literally pull the whole wire out and start from scratch. How do the people from this community respond? I'll tell you. Ah, literally, it's insane. Because work is not about the end result. Work is about life, about living. If we're doing this job, we'll go to the next job. It's just about living and experience. So that's work. Now, abound. It just means full of by a river of godly light. Now, what is a river? A river is something that flows. Now, there are two types of, everybody who works, at times they get stuck. I don't know what to do, I'm stuck, I don't have a problem, oh, I'm gonna do this. It could be a stuck, it could be stuck from depression, it could be stuck from not knowing what to do, it could be stuck from just fatigue, being tired, you get stuck from a million things. River of godly light is a, it's a flow, it's the sense of internal belief that I am a warrior and I have the power to keep going, to figure out the solution. Whatever it's gonna be, I'm gonna figure it out. And as you have that type of mentality, as you have that subconscious belief, you just figure out solutions, you figure out what to do, you figure out how to get things done. It's very, very powerful. Nothing stops you, you just keep flowing and flowing. And as you have that attitude, your work your quality of work becomes much better. Now, what is quality work? Now, the first thing that I think is important to realize is defining quality, you have to know yourself, you have to know your capabilities, you have to know what is quality for you. Where are you holding? It's your best. Not your friend's best, your best. Second of all, there are things about quality 
that are very important. For example, what kind of results are you happy with? Are you passionate? Do you want to see good results? Are you happy with what you're doing? Are you doing it because you're forced to do it? There's a big difference what kind of results you're going to get. Which goes back to our previous idea of what is life? Is it about pleasure or is it about living? Second of all, there's, there's, as, you're, as you're present in work and as you're enjoying work, what happens is, is you start to see different methods of how to do work. For example, right? You're shoveling. It's hurting your back. It's hurting your back. If you're just getting at work with getting it done with, you just keep just brushing through it and your back hurts at the end. But if you're present and you're doing shovel by shovel by shovel, pile by pile, you start to see, wait, the way I'm standing is pulling it back. Let me crouch my knees a little bit. Let me bend over a little bit. Let me lift up the dirt. Let me use my body to turn in order to what? To put the dirt in the, in the wheelbarrow. You start to adapt, you start to change. And you start to become better at these things that you never knew how to do. Why? Because you're present, because you're okay with what you're doing. It really makes a big difference. The things, the methods that I've changed this week and the last week, things that I was doing things the same way my entire life. Wait, I can change. I can change the method. I'm open-minded, I'm open to change the method. I have the brain power to change the method because I'm doing this single task. It's powerful. And of course, our fearless leader, OFAC. Just watching the man, watching him just flow, watching him work, watching him smile. He, that guy's a beast, complete beast. It's been a great two weeks, thank you, Arena RL. Look. Let's do a shout out to Abel. A shout out to Kelly. A shout out to Charlotte. A shout out to Crystal. A shout out to Tafna. A shout out to Roy. All the people that made this happen. Moran. Yulia. They invited us over for tea. Yulia and her husband. Yo. This place rocks. And of course, last, but definitely not least, my D, my D Eddie, my dog Eddie. Eddie. I'm gonna miss you, brother. Guys, signing out.